How to Read a Weather Map by Kate O'Donnell. Earth is surrounded by the gases of the atmosphere. The movement of these gases over the surface of the Earth creates weather, and meteorologists use weather maps to describe the moving air and make predictions about future weather. Air masses are large areas of air with a similar density, temperature, and humidity. Air masses form over places where the climate is the same all year round. Polar air masses form over the poles, and tropical air masses form around the equator. Air masses can't form over Earth's middle latitudes because the surface temperature changes too often to influence the air above it. Air masses that form over land are called continental air masses, and air masses that form over the ocean are called marine air masses. Continental air masses are dry, while marine air masses are full of water vapor. Cold air masses have a high pressure center where air sinks and moves out from the center. The Coriolis effect of the spinning earth causes sinking air to rotate clockwise in the northern hemisphere. Warm air masses have a low pressure center where air moves into the center and rises. The Coriolis effect causes the rising air to rotate counterclockwise in the northern hemisphere. On a weather map, areas of low pressure appear as, large, as a large red L. Areas of high pressure are shown as a large blue H. Fronts form where two air masses meet. A cold front is where a mass of colder air moves in to replace a mass of warmer air. The cold air pushes the warm air higher into the sky, creating a low pressure system, where the water vapor within it condenses to form clouds that lead to precipitation. A cold front creates low temperatures, torrential rain, and high winds. A weather map shows a cold front as a solid blue line with triangles pointing the direction the cold front is moving. A warm front is where a mass of warm air catches up to a mass of cold air. Warm air moves more slowly than cold air because it is less dense. As a result, the heavy clouds and light precipitation caused by the warm front can last from hours to days. Warm fronts are usually associated with high pressure systems because the warm air pushes against the colder air near the surface of the earth. A weather map shows a warm front as a solid red line with half circles pointing the direction the warm air is traveling. A stationary front happens when a cold front and a warm front meet but do not move. Clouds and fog form at, sta at a stationary front and rain or snow may fall. A weather map shows a stationary front using alternating cold and warm front symbols. Cold fronts move faster than warm fronts because the dense cold air rushes from areas of high pressure to areas of low pressure. When a fast moving cold front takes over a slower moving warm front, it is called an occluded front. As the fast cold air pushes up the slower warm air, strong winds and substantial rain form. An occluded front is shown as a purple line with alternating triangles and half circles showing the direction the front is moving. A weather map only shows relative temperatures and pressures. A warm front may not be warm, but it will be warmer than the air mass in front of it. A cold front may not be cold, but it will be colder than the air mass in front of it. The way these air masses interact allows meteorologists to make predictions about our daily weather. The end.